Even in their most cerebral moments, Victor and Rolf have never lost sight of the fact that a fashion show is a show. And that's exactly what they've given us this season. Busby Berkeley would be proud. There wasn't a catwalk in sight at Victor and Rolf's pre-show rehearsal. Instead, an army of tap dancers were putting the finishing touches on their dance routine. We were in the mood for something light. We wanted to do something that was based on old Hollywood musicals because we wanted to do something like in those movies. The story is totally unimportant and um, the only purpose is to entertain. And entertainment it was. Victor and Rolf imported 19 dance students from their hometown of Amsterdam to dazzle the fashion crowd, which everyone knows is no mean feat to accomplish. It will go down in history as one of the greatest shows ever seen by anyone. If you didn't even like the clothes, you had to be charmed by the show, and they're like whole hammy, wonderful thing. It's a great experience. So it was so great to see this innocence of these young girls who were just completely excited to be on stage. There was no jadedness, not again the same face over and over again in a different outfit. The girls were pretty normal girls. They weren't top models, their bodies aren't perfect but they still managed to look good. It was obviously very well thought out because it almost brings clothes like that to real women as well. You know, it makes it look like anybody can wear those, those clothes. Within that context of performance and theater, which was quite clever, I think. If you stripped away all of the show, you still see really fantastic wearable clothes, which look really directional. For example, all of, all of the white, all of the blouses, all of the contrast, the really graphic quality of their work, I think is incredibly strong. And a lot of people are going to be trying to pick up on that. Victor and Rolf are still considered to be relative newcomers to the fashion scene, having tapped into the world of haute couture only three years ago. In that short time, they've established a reputation for executing lofty ideas and have garnered tons of media attention. When you, when you did Ready to Wear, it wouldn't be the way everybody else does Ready to Wear. So how do you feel now that you've finally kind of met this goal? Well, it's already our second uh, Ready to Wear collection, and uh, it feels good to finally be in the shops and to communicate with a bigger audience. It's very challenging to have your ideas translated into such a way that everybody wants to wear it. Were the clothes a little bit inspired as well by old Hollywood? We wanted to make clothes that were made for a, a camera effect, like the old movies. So we took all kinds of clothes and we just added sparkly silver. But these aren't costumes. No, this is ready to wear. And it's very easy to wear.